Welcome back to another uh, video tutorial for beginners on uh, creating your first map. This tutorial today we are going to be learning how to make a door and roughly how to make a room as well. Well, a better room than what we just made. Okay, anyways, um, first of all let's resize everything. Okay, now I've already explained about ungrouping everything, um, which is Control G. Just a reminder if you forgot. I'll try and make lots of little rooms so that I can try and tell everyone how to connect rooms because that seems to be a pretty popular question going around um, for people learning how to make the very first map for everything. It's pretty much like um, resizing walls and um, a few little things. It's very simple if you understand how to use a map editor. Okay, um, right. So I've resized everything so that it's snapped onto the grid, um, so that it's easier to have a cleaner looking map in the map editor. Um, so let's go first of all, uh, change the lighting. Um, okay. Now, after you've resized everything, basically like what I just did after ungrouping the walls, um, what you do is you move a wall around and you make it as big as you want. Um, we'll just have it any size for now. Um, and you need to create another wall by basically using the brush tool like you did when you first started making the map. Um, now, usually when you select a wall, it'll snap its height, um, width and breadth um, to everything, but it'll change once you try um, editing it in one of the views, but it'll still snap to all the other views. Okay, you understand that slightly? Alright. Um, okay, let's try and keep the textures the same for now. Yeah, that'll be basically uh, what a yeah, like a big hole where you can walk through to the next room. Okay, so now let's try and connect the walls. If you want, you can be cheap and try and drag that through um, so that they can be on the other room. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make the room a different size. Because to make a good map, usually you need different sized rooms. That's what I've um, found out after a while. I'm only just starting to pick all the ideas up about making a good looking room. Cool. Yet here I am, making tutorials, yes, I know. Yep, there we go, you've connected a room. Very simple. Um, oh, and another thing, um, when you're going to move around a brush, um, like that, um, remember the texture lock up here, which is a TL in um, long capitals. Make sure that is turned off unless you want it on. It means um, um, it'll lock the texture, so whenever you move the texture around, it'll be the same. So your texture lock. 
Um, okay. Anyways, um, okay, a door. So first of all, let's start off with a very, very simple door. Um, you can have any texture you want for this. It doesn't have to be a door texture, but that's what I'm going to try and use. Just to show you quickly. Now usually it'll be the right size when you make the brush. Um, so yeah, there we go. See that texture lock? Yeah, um, it'll be the right size when you make the brush. Um, but you can resize it if you want by basically clicking on it and going uh, to toggle texture application to shift A is a hotkey. And um, where it says texture scale, um, these are what the scale size of the texture is. Um, also, you can move the brush around using the texture shift. Um, and that's only if you want it to be very, very perfect for non locking textures. Um, and also, if you want to scale it to one brush without having to deal with this texture scale and shift in there, um, click fit and it'll snap the whole texture onto the brush so that it's perfect okay so yeah, this is our door very simple very very simple what most beginners would make um, that's basically all that they used in um, the original Half-Life is basically a brush um, here for Half-Life 2 we can use props but I'll show that in a minute. Anyways, after you've made your brush or your door, however size you want it to be, click on it and go Control T, and this little menu will pop up. Now, this is um, all the entities that you can apply to the brush. Now you can make it a physics box so that it's like um, you can pick it up and carry carry it around, or you can break it and um, and so on. But what we want is a funk underscore door, that's F-U-N-C underscore door. Um, choose that, click apply, apply, in case we end up putting up by accident. Okay, so let's go. Um, so yeah, now it's a door, you just got to change all the properties of it. Okay, so you can change the speed so that it can go either fast or slow. 100 is very fast, so usually you want it to be about 50 but you can change it to what you want um, you can choose the sounds you want um, it doesn't have to be a door sound again you can have anything you want um, from now on I'm just going to choose a random door sound door one and small move um, you can change the sound when it stops uh, when it's moving or closing and so on. Um, the delay before reset. Um, this is how long it takes until the door um, automatically closes by itself. If you don't want it to do that, change it to negative one. Um, I'll keep mine as four so that it closes itself. Um, now the lip. This is um, the amount in inches um, it won't end up going as far as usual. Usually, um, I'll set it as one, um, just so that um, it's not overlapping the texture where it will end up moving. 